Taking the case of my country, such as Zambia, how can we make the global level of governance uh, link into the local and the local vice versa? I think first and foremost, I believe that um, Zambia should determine its destiny. We should set the standard, where do we want to go as Zambians? What do we want Zambia to look like? Because that's the only way people who are coming from outside would know what to, what to do. Um, in my work, looking at issues of debt cancellation, international trade, uh, aid for development, you come to realize that uh, countries such as Zambia at one time had very good and strong development plans. So it made it easy for people to shape the way they could relate to Zambia. But um, with the time of uh, heavy indebtedness, structure adjustment programs, we started failing to plan. And so we took on board different kinds of help from outside, which sometimes was helpful, but most often was an inappropriate to the problems of Zambia. So what is the first point there? If Zambia wants to relate to the global level, it should be clear with what it wants to be, first of all. Then look at the global level and say, okay, there's Zambia in Africa, there's Ghana, there's Mozambique, but as Zambia, I think this is what we want to benefit from the global level. Because we have different interests. And so we need to define our national interests first and foremost and see how they relate to the global level. So if there are areas where we don't have any strategic interests, we shouldn't waste our energies. But of course we should be paying attention. So that's the most important thing. The second issue for me is to invest in our in human intellect so that even if I, I don't come to Germany, in Zambia I'm able to understand what's going on in Germany because I don't know when I'll need information that requires me to know something about Germany. So we should invest in our education and knowledge about the global processes. Um, I'm giving this as an, a point because at a time when the world is talking about climate change, environmental disasters, literally Zambia is a country in Africa, you don't see us paying attention, serious attention to these issues because we're busy trying to put food on the table, trying to deal with HIV AIDS. And so we imagine climate issues, first of all now, are problems for the Western countries. But if we don't put interventions now, or if we don't learn from what our colleagues are doing now. When the problem comes, it will be as disastrous as HIV has been. So the second point is to ensure that we spend resources in trying to improve the capacities of our citizens to understand their local uh, situation as well as their external situation. And this can be done through education. This can be done through creating networks with other people in other parts of the country. This could be done by encouraging people to travel and encouraging people to come. Simply I'm asking that, you know, it's a globalized world, so look at the opportunities and take advantage.